Well, what you're looking at is my latest Frankenstein build. It's a budget-minded build and uh, you know we don't have the latest and greatest in there but uh, it's a very good performer. Something uh, built with uh, best products for the best dollar at this point in time which is the fall of 2011. I've picked up the parts over the year and finally got around to putting things together so powered on here I uh, got a fan LED fan sat uh, DVD burner it's a very nice case thermal take it's probably the best case I've ever bought so far and of course I didn't pay top dollar for it I think I got it for around 50 or 60 dollars very nice case uh, power supplies in the bottom thousand watt power supply uh, got that for a very everything I got here is for a very good deal at the point in time so it's just a matter of picking and choosing waiting for them waiting for your moment thousand watt power supply uh, got that for uh, fifty dollars ish giant fan on that six core AMD let me flip things over get a better look okay we got a top-down view here and I'll kind of uh, explain a few of the uh, critical pieces uh, the motherboard it's an MSI motherboard nothing fancy uh, best deal at the moment uh, it was uh, 60 65 bucks I have a DDR3 memory in there uh, those two sticks are uh, 8 gigabytes and uh, that's uh, Mushkin <laughs> funny name but a very nice uh, heat sinks surrounding the whole unit there actually you know I liked them so much that I, uh, I bought a couple more so I'm gonna have this thing fully populated uh, 16 gigabyte of RAM uh, it's about 40 bucks per two sticks so uh, 16 gig for uh, 80 dollars ish man that's uh, superb and that's a 1333 speed and you know, it's not uh, the best and the fast but uh, it's the you know best deal of the day that's what this whole thing's all about not buying the latest and greatest for the full price getting deals mm -hmm. looking at this uh, CPU heatsink we've got uh, two fans on it so uh, on the left there drawing in warm air from around the case here and uh, sucking it out the top and of course this is a very nice case that it has a uh, venting out top a little difficult to get that uh, mother in there you have to watch out that uh, your memory sticks don't uh, stick up too high because they'll bump into the bottom of the uh, the heat sink there and uh, I actually screwed up one stick trying to make it work because the heat sink was too uh, big and I was trying to file it down and uh, screwed it up. Lesson learned. Don't do that. But I tried. Okay, so what else do we have here to show you? Uh, on the right hand side, this is an additional option. $30, $40. That is a uh, e SATA disk controller. StarTech. Pretty good products. Not expensive. That was about uh, forty dollars ish. So I can have external drives running at, uh, you know, uh, internal speeds, six gigabits. So it's nice for doing backups. That's what that's for. Two ports. Okay, next to the uh, right of that, I have a MSI video card 
does have a little fan on it. Oh, forgot to mention on the uh, the Seta, that's a PCI Express. So you usually have that uh, just for your standard builds. You've got that uh, PCI Express there for new motherboards, and maybe a lot of people don't use that. I know I wouldn't. I'm just having a standard video card in there. Um, so that's uh, a part that is uh, then used. Okay, getting back to the video, uh, using this MSI, one gigabyte DDR3. Nothing fancy. I like NVIDIA products. I've always had very good success with NVIDIA. So there's that graphics card. Uh, so I think I got that for less than 50 bucks. Very pleased with that. Uh, lastly, uh, we'll point out uh, I just have some standard build 7200 RPM drives in there. Um, 320 gig and a 500 gig SATA connections. You know, uh, was a good price. Uh, Fifty dollars under for each one of those units. This case does have some uh, quick connects, and of course, it doesn't come with enough. And of course, you can't get them separately. I have to review that. But uh, some quick connects here. They actually do work. So let's see if I can find more on that. Uh, being that I only had a set of three, uh, I had to uh, use actual screws for the fourth one there. It's not like I'm in there pulling drives all the time anyways. And of course my power supply here, I'm uh, all geared up for uh, additional PCI Express connectors and whatnot, which of course I will probably not use. This for me is your uh, standard business class machine. And of course it's six core, so I like to do some video editing. So it does well for that. And there it is. That should last me a few years. And it didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Just gotta shop around, pick your moments, buy your pieces, 